nah, nah, you know the vibe We see you looking, you should smell the aroma In the kitchen when she cooking She the real deal when she make a home cooked meal She's not nah, nah, the saucy chef, she got skills Nah, nah, the saucy chef, she got skills Nah, nah, the saucy, nah, nah, the saucy, saucy chef, she got skills Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Today I'm going to be making cake mix lemon donuts. The ingredients that we're going to need today are one box of Duncan Hines Lemon Supreme cake mix, one tub of creamy lemon supreme icing, one cup of milk, three tablespoons of butter melted, one egg, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and one fourth of a teaspoon of lemon extract. And we're also gonna need Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. In a large bowl, I'm gonna empty my cake mix. Then I'm going to add my egg in, my lemon extract, vegetable oil, our butter, and also my milk. Now we're going to take a hand mixer and we're going to blend all our ingredients until it's nice and smooth. Now you want to go ahead and take a spatula and just pull all the dry ingredients at the edge of the bowl in and you want to continue to blend it until everything is mixed together. Once you're done, you can set your batter to the side. Now you want to get a donut tin and we're going to spray it with our Baker's Joy. Now you can set your oven to 350 degrees. So here I have a cup and inside of the cup I have a piping bag. So I'm just going to put all my batter inside of the piping bag. Now we're ready to fill up our donut tin and you only want to fill it halfway. So what I'm going to do now is cut the tip off of my piping bag. Remember guys, you're only doing it halfway. You don't want to fill it all the way up. Now they're ready to go into our oven 350 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay guys, after 10 minutes, you want to let your donuts sit and cool off for 10 minutes. And guys, the reason why I said only fill them up halfway is so you can get your donut hole in the middle and it wouldn't overflow your pan. After 10 minutes, I'm just going to take my offset spatula and just loosen it up around the pan. Then we're going to place them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Now you want to let your donuts cool completely. Next, repeat the process with your remaining batter. I wanted to show you guys how the bottoms came out. Look how nice they are. nice and spongy when you're done making all your donuts we're going to place them in the refrigerator for one hour before we dip them in icing 
Now we're going to get a microwave safe bowl and we're going to add in our frosting. Now we're going to put it in our microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Once it's out the microwave, you can just go ahead and stir it. And guys, if you want a darker yellow, just add a couple drops of yellow food coloring, which I already did. Now we're going to take our donuts and we're just going to turn it in our icing and place it back on to our rack. Okay guys, so here we have it, our cake mix lemon donuts. As you can see, I cut into one of them. They're nice and fluffy. They taste delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. And until next time, this is Nana, the saucy chef. Are y'all hungry yet? Oh,